Hi, I'm Justin Morgan, Senior Product Engineer with Direct Supply. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the new Direct Supply Multi-Bed Pivoting Assist. We've taken our most popular assist for Panacea beds and made it compatible with a variety of bed brands and models. It allows you to standardize on one common assist style, simplifying maintenance, caregiving, and resident use. A unique bracket design offers a slotted hole pattern that accommodates some of the most common long-term care beds, including models from Panacea, Jorns, Gramfield, and more. The handle design has a small, non-intrusive profile that easily pivots out of the way when not in use, but supports resident independence when in the upright position. This device fits beds with half-inch or 5 8 inch diameter assist device mounting holes in the head deck and supports hole spacing of 7 and a half, 9 and a quarter, 10 and a quarter, 10 and a half, or 12 inches. Installation is simple and can be done in just minutes. To begin, verify that your bed has half inch or 5 8 inch diameter assist device mounting holes available. Next, align the assist device with the mounting holes in your bed deck. Ensure there are two slots in the assist device that align with your bed's mounting holes. Determine which directions you want the assist device to pivot. Up, right, and or left. Set the pivot lock by inserting one or two set screws into the pivot lock holes in the back of the assist device. To pivot to three positions, insert one set screw into hole A. That's the top hole when the handle is pointing up. To pivot to two positions, insert one set screw into hole A and one set screw into either hole D or hole B. This will prevent pivoting in the opposite direction of the screw placement. To use as a non-pivoting assist, insert one set screw into hole D and one set screw into hole B. Mount the assist device to your bed using the provided bolts, nuts, and washers. The correct order of the hardware is bolt, assist device, bed deck, flat washer, and nut. Using a 19mm socket wrench or combination wrench and an 8mm Allen wrench, securely tighten both sets of hardware. Before putting the assist device into use, review the installation and overall bed system for functionality and safety. The assist device should feel solid and stable. Ensure that 50 pounds of force can be exerted on the assist in any direction without damage or permanent deflection. Verify that the device can pivot to the desired directions and that the pivot lock system is preventing pivoting in other directions. Note, in some configurations, this assist may contact the bed's headboard when pivoted toward the head of the bed. If this occurs on your installation, adjust the pivot lock system to prevent pivoting toward the head of the bed. Before use, be sure to review the overall bed system for compliance to FDA entrapment guidelines state and local regulations, and your company's policies. Do not use the bed system until all entrapment concerns have been addressed and resolved. Warning. Do not use the Direct Supply Multi-Bed Pivoting Assist Device if your bed is not designed to receive assist devices via the required sized holes. Do not use the Direct Supply Multi-Bed Pivoting Assist Device if the slots do not align with your bed's assist device mounting holes. Do not allow the assist device to pivot in all four directions. Allowing the device to pivot toward the floor may potentially create a crush hazard and or damage to your bed. Only use the included hardware to attach this assist device to a bed. Do not substitute hardware. Safe installation requires use of all provided attachment hardware. Prior to use, an optimal bed system assessment must be conducted on each resident by a qualified clinician or medical provider to ensure maximum safety of the resident. The assessment should be conducted within the context of and in compliance with the state and federal guidelines related to the use of restraints and bed system entrapment guidance including the clinical guidance for the assessment and implementation of side rails 
published by the Hospital Bed Safety Work Group of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. If you have any questions about this process, please contact your account manager.